Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for six rounds in a super lightweight contest. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. David Murphy, and your timekeeper, Mr. Alex McKenzie. And now, introducing two new first, fighting out of the blue corner, officially weighing at 62.6 kilos. Tonight, making a 16 professional appearance inside the ring from Tara Vista, Bulgaria. Please welcome Ivrelio Boyano. And now, introducing his opponent across the ring in the red corner, officially weighing in at 63.5 kilos. Bringing to the ring a professional record of 12 wins, five coming by way of knockout, and only two losses. Standing with trainer Pascal Collins from Ireland, D.D. County Mayo. He is a former Irish, European, and world amateur boxing champion. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Sugar! Huge fight and prospect here, Jay. Ray Moylet coming back. Outstanding beard game, it must be said <laughs> as well. Taking on Ivolo Boyanov. Boyanov does have four wins on his leisure, one coming by way of KO. But if you look at the record of Ray Moylet, 12 wins, five coming by way of KO or TKO. Very, very dangerous man, a very clean boxer, and someone you know very well. Yeah, Ray's a very close friend of mine, so he is. And, uh, no matter what way this fight goes, I may be a bit biased here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let you away with one. Well, Ray's coming in here now. This is a very familiar territory to Ray as well. He's boxed in this ring many times before, won many national titles here. Traveled all over the world, has been a world amateur boxing champion, European amateur boxing champion. And uh, Ray's coming off a, off a loss to a, a very talented Dalton Smith who who has all the accolades to go on and be a very good backhand there, very good backhand by Ray. Going to ease himself into this fight, but just as I was saying, he was in with Dalton Smith in his last fight. He was the B-side in a, in a matchroom card. Very big fight for Ray, coming up against one of their, their main prospects and, you know, came out on the wrong side of that fight. But he's here tonight. He's, he's on that comeback trail and uh, he's just in here to shake off a few cobwebs I think tonight and uh, to move on into bigger and better things after this fight. And you can see he's very much quicker to the punch but Boyanov again, every, it seems that everything Ray's throwing is just that little bit cleaner, that little bit crisper, that little bit more professional if you will. Yeah, you know, you see the, the, the crispness by Ray, you know, he's a nice distance there. And Moving again, his feet yeah. very, very well. Just everything he's throwing, there's a little bit more sting in it from Ray every time. We did used to call him the Sting Ray back in the day, so we did. Outstanding! <laughs> Boyanov, like, he, he's coming in here obviously with a, with a record that isn't very pretty on the eye, but you know, he's here to win. Yep. You know, he's not here to just to to get a few pounds and to walk away. He's here to win and he's here to put on a bit of a show and, and cause the upset if he can. But, you know, Ray's doing a nice feeling out process here in the first round and taking a few shots, blocking yeah. and letting a few go. And you can tell that by the demeanor of Boyanov. He's coming in here, he's throwing with bad intentions. He's trying to walk him down. But Ray just has that, as we say, a game of inches going back to the Pacino reference. And it seems that Ray just has the better marker here. Yeah, Ray's in control here, so he is so far, but boy enough, you know, you just need to take one look at him. He's here, he's in shape, he's ripped up. You know, he, he does mean business, and uh, Ray can't take this guy for, for granted. You know, he's got to get in there and he's got to get a job done on him and uh, shake off those cobwebs, as it says, and move on to the next one. Now that was telling, I don't know if you saw that, but as soon as Ray landed that shot on the arms, Boyanov had to ring the arm out. It goes back to what we were saying about even if these shots are landing on the arms, they can cause damage and, and be an investment in the later rounds. Yeah, without a doubt, like that's, that's the boxing game. Yep. You know, and uh, Ray's just got to, you know, he's landing big heavy shots here, but he needs to just let his hands go a wee bit more, you know. 
let the hands go a wee bit more, not trying to load up on every shot. Every shot that Ray's thrown so far has been a pretty much a power shot. Picking up the pace a little bit and letting his shots go, but uh, I definitely give that first round to Ray there. I think he's one up so far. Again, that jab. Even just as a step-in jab, he's planting a little bit on it. Boyanov throwing back heavy. Like you said, Boyanov has not come here to lose. Definitely not. You know, he's, there's a wee bit of jip in uh, Boyanov's punches. Mm. Um, you know, he's sharp. Is that a technical it. term? <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's in good shape. He's here to win. You know, he's not here to get knocked over. And um, Oh, he eats a big shot. right behind the ear. Great hook there from Ray, and that uh, that shook Boyanov yeah. up a little bit. Beautifully dynamic shot. Just Lovely taking. body shot there as well by Ray, backhand lead to the body. He's opening up a lot more now with the shots. So he definitely looks a lot more comfortable in there now in the second round. Not that he looked uncomfortable in the first. Of course, it was a feel now process in the first Ooh. round. Ray starting to get the feel for him here now. That was a nice hook. Sugar Ray definitely putting a stamp on the fight a lot more, but it's a shot over the top. He can't yeah. get complacent. He's doing a good job of just controlling where the fight's taking place right now. He's the one leading the dance, so to speak. Point off implementing good head movement, trying to rip to the body. Jab. The more you see Ray using that jab, the more effective it seems to become. Yeah, we can see a difference here in the second round already. You know, yeah. Ray's been on the front foot a lot more in this round. He's found his distance a little bit better, and uh, he's starting to let the, the hard telling shots go. And you can see the marking up now on that side of Boyanov. And that's going to act as a target for Sugar Ray. Nice straight backhand to the body there by Ray. Boyanov always dangerous. That rear hand over the top seems to be something that he's investing in quite heavily. Well, that's the difference with these lads coming in. Boyanov has a bit of heart about him. He's a bit of fire in the belly. He's letting yep. his punches go. He's not just taking the shots and trying to survive. He's trying to counter and he's trying to get back in there and show a bit of, get a bit of respect off of Ray here. Nice defense from Ray. Changing his level as well, trying to give Boyanov different looks. A lot of this, that's the difference. The, the shots from, from Ray seem to be landing cleaner. A lot of the shots from Boyanov seem to be landing on the gloves. Yeah, Ray's picking his shots a lot better. And, yep. you know, he's starting to land those shots in, in, the, in the key places. Beautiful. Two nice shots landed yep. by, by both fighters there. the finest bits of grooming from the, the wish to my old boy. <laughs> Third round. Still very much a competitive fight here. Boyanov giving a good account of himself. You know, I haven't commented on it yet tonight, but it's just great to have uh, professional boxing back here in Dublin in the National Stadium. You Unquestionably, know, yep. Such an iconic venue, and you have to give credit to, to elite promotions and the sponsors and everybody that's behind it to make this happen. You know, it's uh, it's great to have it back here in the National Stadium, uh, an unbelievable stadium here. It's actually only that there's only two purpose-built boxing stadiums in the world, and this is one of them. Jay Quigley drop a knowledge. Well, I've boxed here many a time, so if I don't know that, <laughs> <laughs> I've taken too many shots to the head. <laughs> that jab cutting through the guard again. Boyanov opened up early with some big body shots. And that's the professionalism of Quigley. The, those couple of shots land on the gloves, he resets, assesses and comes right back. Nice yeah. movement. You know, Ray has nice fluent movement up top when he lets it go. You know, in here now, like I'd just like to see Ray letting his hands go a wee bit more. He's throwing very single shots with mm. a lot of power. Just let his hands go. That's it. Like get the hands down, let it flow. Ray's an unbelievable, skillful, talented boxer. Yep. When he gets up on his toes like this, he's feeling you know, it now. You know, when when Ray starts to dance, there, 
Boyanov is starting to come back a little bit here as well, so he is. So it's a good competitive fight. With a bit of blood maybe coming from the nose of Boyanov as well. The punch is starting to take their effect. I see. Again, I'm, I love what I'm seeing. Like Ray's not rushing into anything. When those flurries come, he takes a step back, reassesses, and then charges forward. Again, like we say, he's downloading that data and then replying. Yeah, that's his experience. You know, he's been to the yep. elite level, European world champion as an amateur. He's traveled all over the world at senior level as well as an amateur and all over the world as well. He's boxed in Boston, Paddy's Day weekend over there with plenty of Irish. You know, this isn't going to phase Ray at all here tonight, so it's not. And, you know, this is maybe what he's going to relish in. That, oh, oh, great shot over the top. Oh, he's feeling himself now. We could be looking at the beginning of the end. This is exactly the Ray Moylet that I was talking about a couple of minutes ago. Yep. You know, letting his hands go, letting his hands flow, putting his hands down a little bit, being up. Like, look at this. This is the Ray Moylet here. And the beauty of that is it invites your opponent on to the counter. Exactly. And that's what he's been landing. He's been landing that backhand counter over the top. Ray's starting to turn up the screw here a little bit now, and we can see we can see it on the face of Boyanov. He's bleeding, and he looks a little bit he's worse for wear. He's slowing down ever so slightly. A little less pop in the shots coming from Boyanov. And now he's... What's beautiful about that from Ray is when the hands are low and he's in that flow, he's here, as chilled out as you like. He looks like he's popping down to the shops to pick up a pint of milk, as chilled out as you like. And as you say, that then translates into the style, how chilled out he is, how flow he is, and how how fluid he can be with the shots then I would like to see Ray come out now and keep his hands nice and low and you know box that skillful style that he has because he's so hard hit he's got great footwork he's got great hand speed and he's got that power as well whenever he wants to turn it up you know so yeah, when he ha when he's in that flute state as you say Sugar Ray showing why it's called the sweet this, science though. You know, he's really showing his levels here whenever he gets into that mode. And that level of gamesmanship, it does start at this, there's the mental game as well, because it does start to play with your opponent's head. If they're throwing punches and they're not landing. There can be so much said when nothing's said at all with body language. Yeah, 100%. And it's, it's also fatiguing. We, we all know that if you're, land, if you're throwing shots and they're not landing on anything, that does drain the gas tank. See that rear hand looks prime. It's it's low enough just to keep out of the peripheral vision, but then if he were to cut a slight diagonal with that, that could be a big shot. Ray's poking that jab there. Lovely le left hook there by Ray. If you can put that left hook together now with a backhand followed behind it, it'll be a, could be a very lovely shot. Very lovely it combination, nice uppercut. Visibly slowing down as Boyanov. And Ray starting to come into his comfort zone as well while Boyanov is starting to slow down. Nice check hook there from Ray. You can see he's almost giving Boyanov that chin to inviting him onto the shot. Swing and a miss from Boyanov. Not far away with the uppercut. Big shot over the top. Lance flush. Growing in confidence. Ray's starting to walk away with this. But again, needs to mind his P's and Q's. Boyanov is dangerous still. I think that's why everybody loves boxing because it's never over until it's over. Like, you that's know. A point. Any man can land a shot at any stage, but Ray's very comfortable here. You know, he, a oh. lovely backhand there by Ray. He needs to follow up now and let his punches go. You go until the referee says stop. Referee calls it. There it is, Boyanov disputing it a little bit, but a fantastic performance from Ray. Gets it done inside the distance and as you say, the, the more he grew into the fight, the more confident he became. The hands came a little bit down, he was flowing with it, he looked fantastic in there.